We're going to set up print pooling in a 2019 Windows server. This also works in 2016 and 2012, as well as older servers, but the procedure is a little different. So you see here three different physical printers, but they're all the same model, and they all use the same driver. And in print pooling, we only have to create one print queue on our server. So we don't have to create three different print queues to print to these three different printers if we're going to create a pool. So the advantage to pooling is if you have a whole bunch of printers that are the same, they're in the same basic physical location, then you can send a print job to the single print queue you see there with the uh, UNC path of server backslash pool and it will go to whichever printer is available. So this works in larger offices where you're going to have a lot of printers going all the time and you're going to need to uh, be able to print to whichever printer is available first. So let's see how we do that on the server. We can go either to control panel and then open up our printers or we can get to the same place by going to Tools and go to Print Management, which is there by default on 2016 and 2019 servers. So we see a printer, which I just called uh, Pool Printer, and I've already set up the IP address, I've set up the name, all those different things. And if we go to Sharing, the Share Press Printer, well, I'm just going to call it Pool, so I'll just rename it to Pool. And I'll click Apply. And now we go into Ports. And this is where the pooling part is set up. So let's expand our port information. And we see that we have a single port, which is .250. So I want to add in, as per the graphic, .251 and 252. So I'll click Add Port. Click on Standard TCP IP Port. And then a wizard pops up. So I'm going to put in... 251 for our second port. Click Next. Now it's going to try to communicate with it. If it communicates with it quickly, then this will pop right into the next page. If it takes a little bit of time, then you'll need to wait. We'll choose the generic network card, as that works with most of our printers. And now we're going to click on another new port. And once again, it's going to communicate. And now we'll click Next and Finish and Close. So we've added two additional ports. And we see those here. We see 250, 251, and 252. Now if I try to click between these, it's only going to let me select one at a time. So what I need to do is click on Enable Printer Pooling. And now it allows me to select all three at once. So now I've set this thing up exactly as you saw it in the Visio diagram. One printer queue that's on my Windows server connected to three different printers. And whichever printer is first available, that one will be where the job is sent. And that's how you send up printer pooling in Windows Server 2019, 2016, as well as 2012.